Well, hello all of my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are opening up a PR box from Erin Condren. Thank you to Tori and Sam and the team over at Erin Condren for sending all of these goodies to me. When you are watching this, it is Teacher Lesson Planner Day launch day, so all the links are gonna be below if you would like to check them out. So I haven't opened this yet, I just opened up the box because y'all don't need to know my address. but. On the very top, it has some of these new kaleidoscope pattern. I haven't seen these yet, so I'm very excited about that. So this says Happy Everything. It's like the little post-it, post-it, no, postcard. And then um, these seals. I always keep the seals. I rarely keep these just because I don't really use them. But love that they come in the new pattern. And this is all the teacher stuff. I'm so jazzed. Okay, let me try to take this all out and then we'll like go from there. Oh my gosh. So much bubble wrap. Whew. All right, move the box out of the way. Wee, look at all that. Oh, it's so cute. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Oh, wow, look at all the goodies. Okay, let's go through this one by one. So, I have seen people already post about this on Instagram and blogs and things like that. I will leave some links down below if you guys wanna see maybe what some other people got or other people's thoughts on certain things. So anyways, um, this is the Planny Pack. And this is in a pattern that came out last year, I believe. It does have that metallicness to it. And it's got a gold zip, which I love. So let me pull this out so you can see it a little bit better. Um, if you guys wanna know the actual size, it is 5.25 by eight inches. Um, yeah, it's so cute. I just think these are so much fun. Um, I will show it on the planner in just a few minutes. Next up, we have this metallic washi tape duo and it's two 16 foot rolls. Let me pull this out for y'all so you can see it. I have heard that this is actual washi tape and not um, the paper tape that has happened in years past. Ooh, yeah, it's actual washi tape. Ooh, yeah, yeah, cool. Oh, I'm excited for that. Okay, those are really cute. These are like the little watercolor apples with the asterisks inside of them. Also, these are apples with asterisks inside of them too, but they're just like the gold foil. They're so nice. Okay, love these. This is so cute. I know last year, or I think in the last couple of years, they've actually had the stylized sticky notes in a like teacher or student version. And I love that this one is so kind of plain. You can make it your own. Um, and this has like a long to-do list, which is kind of awesome. Um, two little stickies and then like a big circle. This one says, don't forget. And um, you know, a smaller little box here. And then this with just like the little paper clip. I feel like anyone could use these. That's really nice. And I will show these in the planner in just a moment. I'm just kind of like, putting the things off to the side. And then this is a petite journal, but I've seen the inside of this and I think it's really interesting. So like, let's take a peek at it. Um, it is in the hexagon pattern, which I always think is like the bumblebee pattern because <laughs> it looks like honeycomb. Um, but in the gold foil, it says successful people are simply those with successful habits. So this is like a habit tracker. Um, so yeah, and then this, would fit in your on the go folio if you have that. Off camera, hold on, I have this. This is like my little monthly planner for 2019 that I love. They are the exact same size. So if you have a petite planner, you could totally use this um, or you could just like very easily slip this into your bag or whatever. Um, but I like that it is small and cute and it's got that metallic foiling. I hope you guys can see that. Sometimes on camera, things look a little funky. So anyway, this is so cute. All right, and then it's like all trackers, y'all. Like, this is kind of awesome. So if you're someone that likes to track anything in your life, you don't have to be a student, you don't have to be a teacher, this would be amazing. It also has like a little dotted line. It's not perforated, but it is a dotted line. So if you want to keep the same habits, but then like every single week, like tear off the page, you totally could. And then it is on the opposite side as well, which is great because then you're like utilizing all the papers. So I love that. And I love that there are seven of these. So you could use them for every single day of the week or whatever, but this is, I 
don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I feel like I could use this for something good. I don't know, but I feel like I could. <laughs> but anyway, but yeah, you could fill it up with as many habits, trackers, whatever, but you could track anything in here, which is awesome. You could even do this for like some of your finances and stuff, like that'd be pretty awesome. I don't know. This, you could use so many things for this. So I'm really pumped about this little book here. And then next we have the designer sticker book, Classroom Collection Edition 3. This is like their normal sticker books. Last year they had the like the pad that kind of like opened up. And I have that and I love that and I still use it from time to time because you know I work in an office So I think it's great for anyone in an office, but let's look up the school stuff. Ooh, these are pretty I just really like this kind of like Underlay of like this tone on tone. I don't know. I'm just like a huge fan. Ooh, these are nice Ooh, ooh, ooh. this I like this. <laughs> if y'all know me and have seen any of my plan with me videos, and I'm sorry I haven't been like posting them, but I actually have a plan with me video coming up this week, so like stay tuned. Um, it's gonna be like a different plan with me. But anyways, y'all know that I don't track, I mean I track things, but I'm not like a habit tracker person in my planner. Like I don't track my water and I don't track, you know, spending in my personal planner and like the things that I show on the internet. I don't know. But I think this would be so cute. I don't know why, like this sings to me for some reason. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I saw this on someone's post. I think it was Jen McIntosh. Um, I saw this on one of her posts and I was like, I need all of those. I don't know why, but I need them. So this would even be cute like on your monthly because it has like five columns, so sometimes there's five weeks in a month. Um, that would be really cool to like track if you wanna, I don't know, track something for the month, I don't know. I just love that. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about that page. <laughs> and then now we have some metallic apples and some like little tabby things. Some of these things you probably wouldn't use, so like, I probably wouldn't use like 50th day, 100th day, and last day, unless, I don't know, somehow I was tracking something like personal for myself. Most of these you can for totally use. Like reminder, I can use that. Assembly, probably not, but maybe. Conference, maybe. A field trip, I probably wouldn't use. Important, definitely I could use. And take note, definitely I can use. And then there are some really cute little flags. And this has like a little, um, Paper clip metallic on there, so nice. And then these are just days of the week, which is very cool. Ooh, I saw this and I was like, yes please. These are um, transparent. So you can put them in the planner, which is kind of cool. Or I mean, you could put them anywhere, but yeah. And then we've got some washi strips. And then this I'm excited about because I have used a bunch of these in the old sticker book and I'm really glad that I have more now because I, you know, I am one of the people in my office that actually doesn't go to a lot of meetings. I mean, there's like multiple meetings a day for people and I'm so thankful that I don't have to go to all the meetings because I'm kind of like an intermediary, someone that doesn't have to deal with like the pre-planning stuff and someone that doesn't have to deal with like the end of the order stuff. I'm kind of in the middle. So um, I don't have too much to do with having a meeting of the minds of things, but there are some things I have to do um, for meetings, but I love these stickers. I think they're so pretty. I love the colors this year. Um, I don't know, it's so nice. Here's another transparent sheet with some different icons, which is really nice. Another transparent sheet. And you know, some of these have like report due after school, break, no school. Like all these are break and no school. Like I probably wouldn't use those, but there is like a staff meeting. I could use that to do report due. I could use that. Sometimes we do testing, which is actually something I do. Um, don't forget. And then like a bunch of icons and just cute little things. So that is the sticker book. Oh, I'm so excited about that. And then next up we have the metallic mini snap in bookmarks. Um, I was super Super confused when I did my life planner launch day video. I will just throw it up in a card for you guys. My thing said metallic and it wasn't metallic, but this one is metallic. So I don't know. I just think it was like different packaging that it was in. Um, Cause I was like, they're not metallic, but it says metallic. I'm confused. So anyways, um, so there is a 
three set here. We've got like the teal, we've got like a darker navy, and then we've got a like, I don't know, I don't think it's red. I think it's more of that pink. It's more like this color here, but these are so nice. I love these. These are like my favorite, favorite thing for cutting washi. And then we have this teacher weekly dashboard. It says clip it in, check it off. Plan it out. Well, okay then. Um, all right, and then we have it Monday through Sunday, Saturday? I don't know, I need to open this. Hang on. I swear like half of the footage is always me just like opening things. <laughs> oh, cool. All right, so you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then you have a Saturday and Sunday, and then you have a before school, after school. This would be great for just anyone that has kids, to be honest. You could do like your meal plans and like before school, after school chores or tasks that they need to get done before like, you know, parents get home and all that kind of stuff. That's cool. And then you've got kind of six little sections here and it says, forget the mistakes, remember the lessons in like a very light lined right here. So, you know, if you have notes about upcoming things or whatever, oh, I think this would be really nice. And this is life planner size. So it clearly would fit in a regular, you know, Erin Condren life planner, which I actually have my Erin Condren life planner um, for 2019, 2020 right here. And I could easily just snap this sucker in. I'm not gonna do it at the moment, but I can do it. All right. Here's the piece de resistance. Let me clear some stuff out of the way and then, and then we'll get to it, y'all. All right, here it is. Oh, this is so beautiful. Okay, first off, the teacher lesson planners are larger than the regular life planner and let me show you the difference. Um, it also comes with this awesome bookmark which also came with um, this planner as well. So I'm gonna just do edge on edge. This is the sizing difference. So if you are interested, that's the difference. Um, the coil, I don't know, seems a little bit, yeah, the coil feels like it's a little bit bigger. Let's see if you guys can see. Yeah, it seems a little bit bigger, y'all. Like. In the monitor it actually looks a lot bigger, but in person it just looks a little bit bigger. So I like that because there's a lot of pages in this thing. So clearly you can pull this off and put it anywhere you want or just keep them off. I like to keep mine off, just, I don't know, personal preference. This is a really beautiful cover this year. There was a couple of different new covers for the school line and I picked this one. I thought this was so nice. You can obviously personalize it. I don't like to personalize anything as you guys can see with this one. I didn't personalize it at all. So let's dive into it. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, let me, here we go, all right. Cool, I just wanna make sure you guys are as centered as possible. On this side is always a little dashboard area where you can use your wet erase markers and then you just hop into the planner and then this is the teacher lesson planner this book belongs to. The paper is still the Mohawk paper, it feels very nice. Um, and then they have an informational page that says all about me, classroom information and resources, name, school, year, email, phone, address, classroom resources, website and passwords. And then over here we have events and volunteers, classroom volunteers and contact information, and then classroom events and date information. And I'm sure y'all are wondering like, why do I have this planner? Well, I'm kind of toying with the idea of using this for something, but if I'm using it, I will share. Um, however, I did watch Jen from Jen Plans, um, her uh, channel or links or some, something will be below for her. Um, she did like an open box of her PR kit from Erin Condren and she is going to be, I don't know if she, is already a, like a scout leader, but she's going to be a scout leader this upcoming year and she was gonna be using it for this and then possibly some other things. And I just thought that was like an awesome idea because there's so many ways you can utilize this to really fit for your lifestyle and you don't have to be a teacher. You, could, you can be a student, you can be a parent, you can work with other organizations that maybe you just want that schedule totally separate from your personal schedule and your life planner or whatever kind of planner you use. So anyway, um, yeah, so I just wanted to address that because I'm sure y'all are like, what the heck? Um, all right, so we have this contact tab and we have a communication log, date, name, reason, slash resolved, and then another one right here with a tab and it says 2019, 2020. 
and then we have our year at a glance or our half year at a glance and then our full 2020 at a glance which is awesome and then we have our tab that says year plan so this kind of gives you like a big overview that you can maybe write some key points in or goal setting or whatever you'd like to do for your year plan we also have a graph Ooh, this is pretty um like big old graph pieces of paper and i think that there might be a couple in here yeah there are a few in here. And then also we have some lined pages. And then this page says you can learn something new every day if you listen. Isn't that true? And then dates to remember in July. So there is, looks like a couple of pages before every month. So you can write notes or follow-ups or whatever. This page here is kind of the same as the old life planners where it's like thicker, if that makes sense, which is the tabbed page. Then this page, like, this, it's always like a little bit of a like thicker, almost feels like cardstock, but it's not cardstock. And then here is July 2019, very subtle tone on tone coloration. Also has the next upcoming month on the side. I love, love, love that. That is so nice. And then you have Monday through Friday in here with another column as well and then columns kind of going down. Also you have a big section right here that you could use some of your stickers in. So like some of these could fit right in there if you've got certain lessons or certain tasks or something that you would want to put in there, which is great. And then, you know, it just kind of goes from there. So here is July. Let's go to August because, I mean, it's going to be like the, so redundant. Yeah, so before the month, you have two pages, basically a page, a little more than a page and a half of lined, pa lined paper, basically. And then dates to remember in August. So if you've got events coming up or birthdays, anniversaries, no school, early dismissals, things like that, you can always write them in there. And then so far, yeah, I really like this. Okay, I don't want to go through the whole thing because like y'all are probably bored by this point. So anyway, the planner does go from, let's see here, July through July. So we have a full month. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Okay. So you have a full month of July, 2019 in here, which is great. So you have your monthly page and all your weeklies. And then this gives me July, 2020 as well. And also with my little August 2020 here, and let's see. So we've got the first week, um, or like the end of June into the first week of July, and then the first full week of July here to kind of tide you over until the next planner, which is awesome. Then we have a little tab here that says checklist, which is a nice piece of paper that has, it's like that cardstocky one still because it's got the little checky tabs on there. So we've got a nice lined piece of paper and then over here this is where the checklists live. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Um, very similar. This is called the student checklist, but it's very similar to this. So I feel like this could be used really well for personal goals or whatever, but oh, this is so cool. So anyway, you can put um, the names and you can put assignments, whatever you'd like. Um, and it also says fold or cut along this dotted line. So you can fold or cut because if you've got the same students over and over, um, you can just do this and then, you know, it's the same line for the same student, but you know, more assignments if that makes sense. So you've got quite a few pages of these. I just love this like light pastel vibe going on. I really like that. I believe that there are some customizations where you can customize like how many pages you get of certain things and whatnot. Um, so that information will be on the website on launch day. I'm really not 100% sure on that. Um, so anyway, and then there are some sticker sheets because, I mean, it wouldn't be an Erin Condren planner without some sticker sheets. Um, okay, so then we have this metallic foiled one. We've got some other really fun ones. There's like field trip, take note, conference assembly, remote 
reminder. I could use some of these, probably not field trip, but I could use some of them. Um, like great job, big day. I can give myself like a great job apple one of these days. And then um, we've got some more, okay, my camera just cut off because I've been talking too much. Um, I don't know where I was, but I think I was still looking at stickers. And then on this page, we've got some more of those little tabs and some more little like small boxes and washi strips. And then we've got some cute little boxes. And then we've got the back pocket, which is huge by the way, and then the pocket on the back. And I must say, I totally forgot in my um, planner video um, when I did the Erin Condren Life Planner to talk about the back pocket. Remember how it used to be that little dinky pocket that like nothing ever fit in? <gasps> I'm so glad that they have the big pocket on the back and the front now um, because I feel like you can fit, you know, stuff in there. Yeah, it has it on this side too. But I love that they did that with the teacher lesson planner as well. All right, up next. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these two. Um, there are some stickers. I mean, stickers are like life, right guys? <laughs> so this has the coordinating colors and this is July, 2019. Let me actually like zoom you in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. These are some of the holidays already pre-printed. This looks like it comes with the planner. So we've got lots of different things like Labor Day, Grandparents Day, International Literacy Day, Patriot Day, like it just has a whole bunch of other things in here. It has a bunch of blank ones too. So if you want to write your own, you totally can. Um, and then we've just got like all the months going on. Oh, oh, did I get two sets? Oh no, I just ended up getting two of this sheet. <laughs> Weird. I, I'm sure that you're supposed to just get two sheets. Oh, let me zoom you guys back out because things are getting weird. Okay, cool. I ended up getting two of this sheet. <laughs> I think you're just supposed to get one of each because that just seems kind of silly. Okay, cool. Well, I'm gonna move that over here. Also, you have options with this clear pocket as well. You can put things in there, like invitations or other things that you would need to put in there. I'm not sure, but there are, I believe, options with that. And then the last page is also this nice blank area that you can write things in and then the back cover. All right, I said I was gonna show you guys this tape and I'm going to do that right now. So let me get some paper here. All right, I'm just gonna use this like graph side paper. And then I'm gonna show you how these fit as well. I'm gonna use one of my little stylized sticky notes or not sticky notes, I'm sorry, snapping bookmarks. <laughs> it's been a long day at work, you guys, um, to cut my washi. And, you know, I gotta start at the end here. Let's take a peek. Ooh, it like rolls out really nice, guys. Rolls out really nice. Cool. All right. I'm trying to get it straight. I feel, I feel the pressure from the internet to make it straight. <laughs> okay. Ooh. All right, I am going to cut the washi. Yay. Okay, that laid out really nice and this looks so pretty. I feel like, you know, you don't have to be a student or a teacher to love this planner and to love all of these things. I mean, you could just like really like apples, you know? Um, fun fact, I actually eat applesauce almost every morning for uh, my breakfast. <laughs> I know that's like a really random fact, but it's true. All right. And this beautiful gold foil, so nice. And then cut the washi. Nice, this looks so cute. Ooh, it's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna stop being weird. I mean, but I guess I am weird and you guys already know that, so whatever. Okay, so this is what it all looks like laid down with the washi. And let me get to a monthly page. And I'm also gonna do this on a weekly so y'all can see the sizing and things like that. So we've got our to-do and I'm gonna try to get as close as I can in a corner so you can see 
you know, sizing and stuff like that. All right, so this goes over just slightly, or I don't know, just kind of kind of depends on how you like it. There we go. I want to do one like this as well, as you can see. These ones are like almost sticky, like all the way through. Okay, <laughs> that took me a moment. All right, actually, here, I'm gonna put this one right over here. Very cool. And then the don't forget, which is like my favorite one because you would think that I'm like this planner person that is like really unforgetful. And I kind of am forgetful sometimes. So yeah, this is how it looks on the month view of the teacher lesson planner. And here is the weekly. And clearly these are gonna be a little bit smaller, but um, like the these little dudes are gonna be a little bit smaller, but I feel like that's totally all right. Because what I use the sticky notes for to be completely transparent is usually um, I don't pre-plan anymore. Um, what I end up doing is sharing my planner and everything like that after the fact, just for some security reasons and things like that. However, I use these little post-its as like little markers for like, oh, my work schedule, or I did this after work, or I had this appointment, or whatever it is. Um, you know, I just love using these little sticky notes and they're so nice. And I must say, the woven wonder pattern one last year, the stickiness, I don't know what happened, but like it really, Erin Condren up their game for sure with those. And I have to say, I'm so glad to report that these are the same stickiness as those and the new kaleidoscope pattern of the stylized sticky notes are also the same adhesiveness. So I'm just very excited about that because in years past, they just, for me, haven't been as good. So I just hadn't had like a great experience with them, but now I'm in love with them. They're so nice. Oh man, it'd be helpful if I can like actually lay this down properly. So yeah, this is what it looks like in the weekly. And I know y'all are probably chomping at the bit going, Emily, why don't you put them in the life planner so we can see that too? And I'm like, you know, I hear, I'm here for you. Okay. So let's put it in the life planner as well so we can see um, just how well this is, you know, how well it goes. Um, I think, I don't know for sure because I'm, you know, don't know the measurements and stuff. I clearly have an hourly planner, but the hourly planner is just slightly wider in the boxes than the vertical. So, I am assuming, I don't know for sure, cause I don't have a vertical with me, but I'm assuming that these fit the vertical perfectly, but I could totally be mistaken. Um, this will clearly not fit, so I'm just gonna put that over there. All right. But yeah, I think these are just so cute. And I don't know, I just, I'm really liking the direction that Erin Condren is going. And I know some people are gonna think like, oh, you just say that because you get sent stuff for free. You know, if y'all haven't noticed, and I don't mean to sound not grateful or anything, but I used to do posts for a lot of different planner companies that, to be honest, I didn't use. And I did it be for the sake of a video, and I'm just trying to be like super transparent with you guys right now. And I'm kind of done doing that. I really want to produce content that I would wanna watch, and things that I'm passionate about and things that I think that you would be passionate about. I have gotten so many questions about the teacher lesson planner recently. And when I was offered this collaboration, I was like, absolutely. I've had so many comments and so many questions about the teacher lesson planner. I need to show my audience. Like I was just so excited. And they know that I'm not a teacher or a student or have kids or any of that. Like they're fully aware, but my audience does and I want to share with you guys this stuff so then you can make your own opinions. Um, so anyway, that's my little tangent. Sorry. I'm like going a little off on a tangents today, but yeah, that's the whole point of like sharing these videos before things launch. So you guys can make an informed choice and also maybe get some perspective from me as a single working person and maybe some things I would use it for 
versus, you know, what you might use it for in your life. And maybe it's the same thing. Maybe it's something totally different, but that's what I love about planning and some of these products is that you can really make them your own. So anyway, let's get back to this because Sorry, but this is everything in the hourly so you can kind of see how it all goes But yes, I'm so excited about that and I wanted to show you the planny pack on This because there's been a lot of questions about it and I have actually seen people on the interwebs put this on there and To be honest this probably doesn't like go the best, but we're gonna go for it anyway um, I have seen some people put this on here Ooh. <laughs> and I am gonna show you guys, I'm just gonna like keep the film rolling and I'm gonna show you exactly oh, how difficult this is. You can put it on there, but it is very, very tight, like tight. It's very stretched to the max. So you could probably put some flatter things in here, I think. I just don't think you could put anything of like real bulk in here. Um, just with it like that. And I just don't know if it would, you know, permanently kind of curl your cover. If you guys can see, it's kind of curling the cover like that. But somebody out there was a genius. And I don't know who that somebody was, but I did see it on Instagram and I was like, this is amazing. They put it this way. I'm like, oh, snap. Like somebody out there was thinking. So, oh, sorry, it's like, next to my body here. Sorry, I'm not really showing you guys very well. Okay, there we go. So when you do it this way, it kind of, you know, goes inside the coil and that's fine. But it also kind of acts as one of those planner bands. And then you can, I feel like you can fit like bigger things in there. And you're not gonna like bend up your covers either. So I don't know, that could definitely be an option for you. And in the planning packs, there's lots of different patterns and colors now. Um, I know, what was the one that they sent? Oh, it was the really pretty kaleidoscope pattern um, that they had in the colorful that they had sent me. There's a neutral one, which is gorgeous. And there's also some solid ones. Um, so yeah, there's just kind of a little something for everyone. And um, the zippers, I must tell you, are really, really nice. Like they don't skip or anything. Um, I've had really good luck with um, Erin Condren zippers randomly, but I'm like kind of a zipper snob. Um, you guys are learning like way too much about me. Oh, the back of it is like this pretty like hot pink fuchsia color as well. Oh, and the inside is as well. I don't know if I showed you that, I'm sorry. I'm a bad reviewer. <laughs> All right, so that is going to be it for my open box of the Teacher Lesson Planner for Erin Condren 2019 through 2020. Again, links are below for y'all. If you're interested in this planner or anything else that they have to sell on their website, there are some links down below. One of them is for first timers. If you've never purchased anything from Erin Condren, there is a special link for you, which is $10 off of your first purchase. You sign up for an account on erincondren.com and then they'll send you a couple of different emails and one is gonna be a $10 off of your first order coupon. So make sure to look out for that. And then there's also another link down below to the Erin Condren website for people that already have an account. Um, that's an affiliate link. It really helps me out if you guys end up using that for your order or any order that you place. Your order is not more expensive because you use that or anything like that. I think that's a lot of miscommunication from other brands that may or may not do that. I mean, I don't know. But all it does is let erincondren.com know that I sent you there and then I receive a small commission for that. So thank you to everyone that's used it and thank you to anyone that will use it in the the future. I really, really appreciate it. And so does Doyle because it goes towards his kibble and bacon budget. So anyway, thank you guys for sticking around. If you've stuck it out this long, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe for more. Feel free to follow me on my socials. They're all down below. I'm the most active on Instagram, just FYI. If you want to see weird stories and pictures of my dog and stuff, feel free to follow me there. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.